Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks to the panel for uh, your testimony. I just have a few questions. We have people coming before us all the time, uh, you know, asking for money. And um, you know, we, we're spending, for every dollar the government spends, we have to borrow 40 cents. And um, everybody thinks that their project is worthy. Uh, I, I don't really see uh, how we can be increasing your budget 18% in the, in the time of this fiscal, fiscal crisis. Um, I think we need to streamline the situation. Uh, I looked at some of the uh, you know, some of the things that disturb me uh, as a physician is is really the rapid grants where there's uh, you know not peer reviewed, and and I I kind of uh, feel for the, uh, the um, my minority there when they were saying uh, you can't judge the research projects by its title, but. Um, it concerns me, I've been quoting, uh, looking at Mr. Wood's testimony, he, he quotes uh, uh, a project with a title like, um, what is it here, Engineering and Social Justice, Research and Education of Incommensurable Fields of Practice. It's a $300,000 grant to um, study the, the field of engineering and its uh, the, you know the ed education of engineers and and their relationship to social justice and has a title and it has an abstract and and I just don't see uh, how this is a a project that that's worthy of funding uh, in a, in a tight economy like we have uh, how how do you how do you justify an eighteen percent increase in uh, in your funding when we have a situation like this and I'm looking at grant proposals and and an abstract that seems to me like a waste of money. Um, uh, all of our projects are subject to uh, considerable review. Uh, you asked the question about the rapid awards. We made ele roughly 1,100 awards in fiscal 2010. There were 23 rapid awards. They were largely devoted to uh, issues like um, uh, the earthquakes uh, in Haiti and elsewhere in response to immediate uh, circumstances that required researchers to talk with people uh, soon after the event. Uh, in the case of the uh, ethics program award that you describe, uh, this is a program designed uh, uh, to, to increase knowledge about how ethical processes emerge across all areas of science. It was made in a competition we have in this area, uh, and it was peer-reviewed. I, I can't well, go beyond uh, what you've said about it uh, in, in, any, in any specific way. But I think that it's very hard for, just as it's hard for you to understand how we make the award, it's hard for me uh, to criticize uh, the whole program based on a single project. Well, I understand that. It's just that we're, we end up talking about millions of dollars with the sum of all these projects. And I, I think there has to be some sort of a... Uh, prioritizing I, and, of and spending, and I, I just don't see how an 18 percent increase is justified when I see, you know, examples but, like but, this. But I could show you many more projects that I think we would agree uh, have great value in terms of basic science. Well, uh, and that may be the, true. It's just that there's no money, and and everybody's everybody says, well, cut everything else, but don't cut mine, and and believe me. We need to fix the budget, so I think everybody's going to end up taking a cut. And just to, uh, I just think it's unrealistic to make this request, uh, Doctor El Elvenbein. If I could be recognized, I think that to justify an increase in funds at a time of fiscal crisis, you have to believe that this is an investment, not an expense. So everything is an investment, okay? I mean, everybody comes to me with the same answer, and they all, every department wants. Everybody else cut, and but my department is an investment. So, who should we cut to, to feed? You know, to make sure that you get your extra money. That's that's just unrealistic. So I think you you have an unrealistic expectation as to what's happening here, and that you have to streamline your research. Uh, I yield back. 